Well, welcome to this overview of machine learning in Microsoft Excel. We only finished this. I only finished this uh, this morning. Um, well, two o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm really excited about it and actually working. Um, but before we start, I'd just like to, to say that humans have 86 billion neurons. Blue whale, about 30 billion. A bee, one million. An ant, 250,000 neurons, a worm, 302. And what we're talking about here in this little spreadsheet is just two neurons. But before we get all high and mighty and thinking, look how many billion neurons a human brain is, I'd just like you to look at that last item on the list. An elephant has got three times as many neurons as we have. I think that's a salutary point. Anyway, let's move on. Let's get to the output first. Um, so this is the total spreadsheet. That's everything you need to know. Um, uh, there are there are one, two, three, four, five basic areas here. Um, and then rather than go through each one now, let's just talk about a quick overview of them. This is the data uh, input data points there's five data input points there's a sign way we're using these are data values for the hidden layer we'll come back to that in a minute this is the accuracy figure and it continually revises accuracy and we drive the accuracy as, as, as accurate as possible which drives these figures up to update themselves these are the test data points down here so we've got input draining points and test data points we don't use them don't mix them up we have weights and measures no weights and bias in 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 the hidden layers um why are they hidden well they don't mean much to us but they need a lot in in the calculations uh, we have a structure of the neural network we'll come on to that too and then the output chart let's have a quick look at the output chart first um so you can see what we're looking at and there we are so this is the red response this is the accurate response from the trig functions we know that's absolutely right and this is the learning the blue one um, we're 20 percent out or so at the end which is significant error but we can improve that these are our training points in degrees um, in radians and these are the hidden layers uh, data outputs and that's the accuracy um yeah let us have a quick look at going through one training loop we go into data and we scroll across onto solve and this window comes up and we want to minimize this value and how do we minimize that we can change all these weights uh, and biases and that's what we put there so that's all we have to do we don't want to maximize we want to minimize the weights and then we click solve uh, non-linear uncontrolled yes so click those buttons and then we come to solve but before i solve it let's have a look at the graph and click go look at that our first run around the loop and we have got tiny bits of errors at the beginning let's click on that we want to save that yeah um so it's dramatically improved um and the error has reduced dramatically to three five eight eight let's go through that loop once again up to the solver Let's see if it changes and we opposite 3588 let's give it a go there we are it's got it's improved by a factor of almost 10 uh, let's keep that so every time we go through the loop it gets better right but i'm going too deep let's have a look at the neural network itself we have input we have output 
We have the hidden layers, one hidden layer, two hidden layers. We have two neurons, neuron one and neuron two. <laughs> um, compared with an elephant, not very many, but never mind. And then we have the output. These are the biases, hence the B and the W are the weights. Right, how do we work through this? It's quite straightforward. The forward pass is quite straightforward anyway. So this is the input, let's say it's 30 degrees. We take that input value, we multiply it by a weight to get the value in N1, H1. This N1, H1, this one, one value, <coughs> it's quite simple, two multiplications. Oh, time the bias, uh, uh, minus the bias. So that's a little subtraction there. Um, once we've got that value, how do we get this value of one, two? Easy, we get this value and multiply it by W3 to get that. Not forgetting, we have an input from this neuron as well. So we take this value, multiply it by W4 and add the two together. And it's the same with here. Take this input times W2 to get that value, 2, 2, 1 rather, this 2, 1 value. Then to get 2, 2 value, we multiply this value by W6 and add it to 1, 1 value times W4 to get 2, 2. So now we've got these. Then how do we get the output? Well, wow, take a guess. We take this 2, 1 value, multiply it by W7 and add it to this value, 2, 2 times W3. And then we apply the bias. And that is all there is to it. In the forward pass, that is all there is to it. Really simple. And Excel eats it up. Right. Then we start to get the back, uh, the, the back flow, the, the, the back pr uh, process, which is chain rule partial differentiation. <clears throat> <laughs> Not to worry, once again, Excel does it for us in its solver. Fantastic little thing in is Excel. Right, let us go down to sheet two and have a look at some of these equations here. <clears throat> so N1 H2 is there. So we take a sigmoid. A sigmoid is the only bit of code really which we have to put in which is that type that in exactly as it is into um, developer visual basic solver and uh, then we just come back here and we just say sigmoid and that limits the values here to naught two to plus one uh, rather like the nerves do, it, 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 we, we don't get very, very high potentials in the nerves, so it, it's restricted, it's a restricted value. Right, so these are the training, this is the training data, and now we're looking at the test data, and these are the charts. Really, that is it. Uh, yeah, let's go into here. Um, how do we calculate N1, H1? Well, we do that. If we click in there, you can see we multiply the input by N1, H1. Um, and we use the weight 1 and the bias 1. The bias 1 applies to everything above it. And same way as this, the bias will apply to everything above it. Um, so it's quite a straightforward calculation. Okay, so let's not go into the formula. Um, <coughs> quite straightforward. As I said, to get N1, H1, H1, N1, we take the input, multiply it by W1, 
and weighting one and subtract the bias. Same for N2, H1, 2, 1 there. And for 1, 2 here, we take that input, multiply it by W3, plus that input multiplied by W4, subtract the bias, and it's the sigmoid of that combination. And finally, the output is simply 1, 2, multiplied by W7, and plus 2, 2, times W8 minus B3. And there's B3, and it doesn't matter what you put these two. Just remember, it doesn't matter what, you can put random numbers. In fact, you do put random numbers in to start with. Make it up. It doesn't matter, because whatever you use in here, it will pop out here, and it will show rubbish. As and Let's do it. Right, that's the screen now. It's quite nice and tight. A bit of error on the beginning and a bit of error on the end. But let's make W1. I mean, OK, it doesn't have to be much. Let's put it as to a 1. Okay, doesn't matter what it is. And now look what's happened. It comes adrift. Let's put, um, let's make W6 one as well. And there we are, variance again. And all we have to do is to run data, data and along to solver, and click solve, and That starts to come back into place and we just do that a few times and it gets better yeah look at the error now tiny <laughs> okay so we had a quick look then um this is the the net the two neural network in the hidden layer neuron one neuron two hidden layer one hidden layer two input output biases sigmoid of those multiplied together, added, and uh, sigmoid of these multiplied together, plused, 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 and uh, we get the output with that multiplied by that, plus that multiplied by that, to, uh, minus the bias. Um, right, and we then use the, the solver, data solver, to minimize the error and the error I've just gone into the formula there I just realized I haven't shown you that is the difference uh, between their matrix sum um, yeah actually it's a good point actually some matrix of, uh, of those two of those two fields matrices and that squared it gives you a, a, a rough idea of how to do machine learning in Microsoft Excel with two neurons. I'll just leave you with one thought. I think you know what it's going to be. Look at that elephant.